Alright, what's up everyone? I've got a computer video for you. This is a Dell uh, D630. Uh, it's a work computer. Or, well, it's not my work computer. It's a computer we use at work um, that is used to program certain kinds of uh, chips or in integrated chips. And it has to be uh, something that can use hyper terminal because uh, that's what we use to program them so um, basically what I'm doing is it's running really slow it has an old hard drive on it so I'm putting in an SSD and a and I'm going to put a fresh install of Windows 7 on it because you can still use uh, let's see is there a PNY SSD uh, you can still use um, this is my train of thought. Hyper terminal on there. So that's what I'm going to be doing, and I will show you guys the disassembly process. So this is pretty simple. You just have two screws. You've got one here and one here for the hard drive. And this shouldn't be too painful. I've done this lots and lots of times. And once those screws out, this just pops out and that reveals the uh, it's Western Digital. This is a Scorpio Black. It has a 230 gig hard drive. It's not too bad. It was made in 2009. And yeah. But we're going to take this thing out. And then you've got two screws, one on each side. Actually, just one it looks like. I believe once that's out, yeah, it's just a little nub. So, once you remove that out, you can put the other one in. And I completely forgot which way that's supposed to go. Oh. It's at the top. Okay. So, with this like that, this needs to go like that. Okay. Put a screw in. And, um, you know, I could probably install Windows 8 on here. Uh, but I want to try to stick with 7. Uh, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how well it goes. But. We'll figure it out when we try to power it on. So, plug the battery back in and find my install disk or heart, uh, USB drive and we can continue. Wow, I have not installed anything from a disk in a really long time. I don't know how long this is going to take. I feel like it'll take longer for me to create a USB drive than it would for this to just go through and do the install. But I'll go ahead and start it on my computer just to see. But when this gets finished and I get to the screen, I'll show you guys. Okay, so I got... Windows installed and here is the score you can see for AS SSD uh, benchmark. It's got 230 on the read and 211 on the right. Um, it's not, you know, spectacular or anything, but it uh, it's a lot better than a normal hard drive in terms of the access time. So uh, yeah, we've got that installed and. Uh, I got a couple other programs installed like uh, K Melon, uh, Chrome, 
uh, and then hyper terminal is what we need to be able to use and then uh, I think that's pretty much it I may put LibreOffice on here uh, just so we have some kind of word document program or may just use Google Docs I don't know uh, but yeah just um, it's a lot you know it's a lot quicker to start up and shut down let's do a quick reboot here I didn't do I have I should have done a reboot time before I put the SSD in but I mean you guys all know how long it takes so yeah So yeah, there you go. A lot quicker than what he was used to. So um, yeah, this will get him up and going. Yeah, this is a, a T a Core Two Duo T seventy one hundred, uh, two gigs of RAM, and uh, it's a, yeah, it's at one point eight gigahertz. So we just use it for hyper terminal and stuff that we need to use I still need to activate this thing I may have to call Microsoft I'm not sure um, but yeah there you guys have it um, just a quick little computer video for you guys trust the old Dell still working